Hello guys, in today's lecture, we are going to talk about the reducing pentose phosphate pathway or the non-oxidative phase of PPP. In last lecture, we talked about the pentose phosphate pathway in which the pentose sugar is formed by using 6 carbon sugar. But in this pathway, after the getting the proper or sufficient pentose sugar, the excess amount of pentose sugar can recycle or can be converted into the again into hexose sugar. So this pathway is called non-oxidative pentose phosphate pathway in which the 5 carbon sugar is formed converted into 6 carbon sugar. So here the in this reaction mostly the rearrangement of carbons into 6 carbon sugar, 5 carbon sugar, 3 carbon sugar, 4 carbon sugar and 7 carbon sugar is occurred by using various enzymes present into the cytosol. So as shown in figure the 5 carbon sugar ribose 5 phosphate is first epimerized and isomerized into xylulose 5 phosphate. Now this both sugar is combined and by using the enzyme transketolase the keto sugar cellulose is act as a donor and give two carbon to acceptor which is the alto sugar ribulose 5 phosphate to convert three carbon sugar and seven carbon sugar which is the pseudoheptylose 7 phosphate and glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate now by using trans aldolase enzyme the alto sugar pseudoheptylose is give three carbon to the acceptor glyceraldehyde phosphate to form 1 fructose 6-phosphate and 4 carbon sugar erythrose 4-phosphate. Now fructose is converted directly into the glucose 6-phosphate by gluconeogenesis or by isomerase enzyme. Now the remaining erythrose 4-phosphate is act with the cellulose 5-phosphate with the enzyme transketolase. Now, by this formation of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and fructose 6-phosphate, again, now the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is can be used in various ways in glycolysis, in gluconeogenesis. By for, in gluconeogenesis, it will form into the glucose 6-phosphate and the fructose 6-phosphate which is formed is converted into glucose 6-phosphate. So, by this pathway, by using 6 molecule, of pentose sugar the formation of 6 carbon sugar is 5 the 5 exose sugar is formed by using 6 molecule of pentose sugar to getting a exose sugars so in the persons which getting or inputting the more alcohol the disease or the syndrome called vernicle Corsascoff syndrome which occurred in this syndrome the trans ketolase enzyme is do not form by defecting the gene which called for trans ketolase that's why it defects in pentose phosphate pathway so exert alcohol is not good for health so exert in low so the second thing about glucose 6 phosphate this is the main precursor molecule it, it can be converted into the pyruvate this can be converted into pentose sugar so by needing or by the need of the cell this can be go in either way either glycolysis or either the pentose phosphate pathway the reducing pentose phosphate pathway is mostly occur in the plants as a c3 cycle in the co2 assimilation so this is all about the non-oxidative pentose phosphate pathway in which the hexose sugar is formed by using pentose phosphate sugar. So if you like the video then don't miss to press the like button, share it to your friends to know about the video.
and also if you want to learn anything from me then you can mention below the comment section thank you